Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. Uh, I'd like to say welcome to my new subscribers and welcome back to all my OGs. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for spending some time with me. I'm sorry I haven't been doing very many videos. I'm still in a funk. Um, I'm still waiting for some test results. Uh, if you didn't see my other video, <clears throat> um, all of my blood tests came back negative for whatever they were testing for. Oh, good Lord. Um, so that's good. Uh, my diabetes is on track. It's, it's all good. Um, yeah. So my x-rays, they said there's nothing broken or anything like that. I have arthritis, but, um, yeah, they're going to deal with that later. I might have to get cortisone shots. Um, I go to the doctor tomorrow to get a physical done. And then September 3rd? 6th? <laughs> I can't remember now. Uh, oh, actually, no. It's already September, isn't it? My God. Uh, 22nd, I think it is. I go to a specialist. For what? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I was having a really down energetic day today and I was laying in bed and I was just like, I don't want to do anything. I'm just blah. And I says, no, get off the damn bed and, you know, kick my butt and say, come on, we're going, we're going to take the dog for a walk. We haven't taken her for a walk in far too long. Um, you guys look crooked. Mm -hmm. oh, that's not much better. Um, you know, and I said, no, we're gonna, we're gonna fight through this and, you know, and just keep going. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna, I, I said to myself that I was going to take her, f take Bailey for this walk that we did today. I'm going to do that every day. And I was like, that's a bit ambitious, <laughs> but I'm really going to try. I, I, I have to do something because the depression that I'm getting is overflowing and, and it's just, it's getting out of control. So I need to step up and, and deal with this. <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing. Um, okay. So I finished my sweater that I was making with the Karen anniversary cake. Uh, I actually was surprised. I was able to make a sweater and make a one and a half hats. <laughs> so here's the video for that. Hi everybody. Okay, so here's the sweater that I made from the anniversary cake, the Karen anniversary cake. Um, it's not as long as I would want it, but you know, I wanted to make sure that I had enough to finish the sweater. The sleeves are actually a bit longer than I would have liked to. I didn't gauge that very well. But, uh, I mean, it's nice. It's nice and cozy. And it has a kind of a, oops, sorry, sleeve, uh, collar that comes up. See? And uh, I really like it. It's really cozy. So I made that and... I got a hat out of the Karen, it's a slouchy hat, see, um, so I got that out of the Karen cake, and then I got half, whoops, half of another um, hat, I had to use something else for that, and then I used the rest of the cake for the ribbing, so that's another slouchy hat, so that's how much I got out of that whole Karen anniversary cake. I was quite impressed. So yeah, if I hadn't have made a hat, uh, I could have put the more of a length on the bottom of this, but that's okay. I'm good with this. It's really warm, <laughs> really warm. And this is just a pattern that I kind of came up with. You know, it's a pretty basic, simple pattern. So there you go. I, 
I was really happy with the way it turned out. Um, next time I do it, I think I'm going to make the sleeves a bit shorter. I, I don't know why I thought that the sleeves were supposed to be that long, but anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was really fun. And it was so fast. It was so fast. I finished it in about a day, a day and a half. Um, yeah, because I finished the sweater in a day. And then I had to finish up the sleeves the next morning. So it was really quick. I didn't go by a pattern. I just kind of winged it, which is something I don't normally do. Uh, but I did. And I think it turned out okay. Uh, I tried to go by this pattern that I bought. Oh my God, you guys. I bought probably four different patterns. Not one of them was accurate. I couldn't believe it. The sizing on them was not accurate. The gauge was not accurate. And I was going like, what the hell? You know, you go and you pay $7 for a pattern and it's useless. So I used this, the weight yarn that she wanted. I used the hook size that she wanted. I did the chain amounts that she wanted. And no. So the beginning of the Karen cake, of the anniversary cake fiasco, I tried five different patterns and had to frog them all. I couldn't believe it. So I went, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to just make something up and I did so tell me what you think <laughs> um also what else I I'm doing the start stop thing with my whips it's crazy I started another blanket oh speaking of blanket here is a photo of the finished um Arabella and um Abergine <laughs> blanket that I did. So that's all finished. Thank goodness. And you know, it's, it's really weird. I don't know if it's the cotton in the um, Arabella, but the smell of the blanket, it's almost got like a wheat smell to it. Like a hay kind of a smell. I don't know what the heck it is, but yeah, it's, it's really bizarre. So I'm going to have to wash the blanket for sure. <coughs> um, yeah, I've never smelt that in a yarn before. It's really odd. Uh, so anyway, so I'm finished that one. And then I started, I think I showed you this before, but I started another one and I ran out of these colors. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to do another layer with the aubergine. So I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, what do you guys think of that? Maybe do the aubergine around uh, a couple of times and I don't know. I'm trying to think try and figure it out because <clears throat> I really don't want to go to Walmart and get more yarn <laughs> I have got so much yarn you guys oh my goodness I've got the plumber guys coming in tomorrow to take out the sink in that room thank god because man it, it's been like two weeks and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting my room's dismantled and I'm just going come on like I want to get on with this so he's coming at 8 30 tomorrow morning and um, he's going to take the sink out and then I can finally get started on that room. And yes, I'm going to video it. It's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> so Tia's coming on Saturday. Oh, so she's going to be helping me. I hope. <laughs> uh, and we're going to get that done and then I can start filming back in there again. Um, the winner of the um, tunic has not contacted me yet. So um, if she doesn't contact me by Monday, I'm going to have to do a redraw. 
So, yeah, that sucks. But it's good for you guys because then you get another chance. Uh, there was quite pop. It was quite popular uh, in the comments. So, um, yeah. So Monday, that's going to be my deadline, and then I'll have to redraw. <laughs> what else? Oh. So George was on the internet. I don't know if it was Facebook or it was probably Facebook. And he happened to come across an ad for a bra that is made for, um, is made for people like not at, well, athletes and people that are really active and he thought that this bra was going to be a good idea for me for when we start paddling again and I thought well, okay you know it's heavy duty it's a heavy duty bra <laughs> and I got it in the mail yesterday holy cow you guys oh hang on sorry about that um, so yeah, so I got it in the mail and it's by a company called she fit and I'll put the link down below if you guys are interested. Um, they have bras for big busted women and holy Toledo. This is, I bought two of them. This is the bra. It is heavy duty it's it's a heavy bra and I'll tell you something guys when I put this on it was like a freaking straight dra straight jacket it was like oh my god so the concept of it is um see it's got pretties on this side on the back the concept of it is on the back like it's got a really thick like I don't know if you can hear that it's sturdy, sturdy, uh, elastic. Um, the concept is it's got a Velcro strap around here. So when you've got it on, you reach around your back and you cinch it, like cinch it really good. And then you, on the, the straps, there's more velcro like here i've got it i've got the other one on it's got velcro straps here so you unstrap the un velcro these and you reef it up and you strap it on <laughs> i kid you not it's like it holy man my side boob gone it's all like here you can't even see me hang on the side boob is like gone. You still can't see me. Hang on. Erg. So here, it's like it cinches all of this side boob right up front. So yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> it's, it's really, they're really in there. They're really in there. Um, so yeah, so you just cinch it up here, you cinch it in the back and it's, it's there like, and you can't, it's like they, they don't move much. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Bring it back up there. So yeah, so it's, I mean, there's different styles and there's different sizes and you can get like this one's just a plain white this one's pink with really nice stuff on the side oh and there's a zipper up the front so what you do is when you finish cinching it you don't have to do it again because you're gonna undo the zipper in the front and then you just have to I what I have to do is I have to lean forward rein them in and then zip it up and make sure you don't zip up a nipple because <laughs> it hurts <laughs> um so this 
I mean, it's it's really good, really good. But like I say, there's a couple of different styles. I got the heavy duty one because I wanted to make sure that these puppies were in here. And I can already tell, because the thing that was bug bugging me the most is when I put my arms down because I've got this stuff and then the side boob, I felt like I was out here walking around like the Michelin man. So now that that's not there, right? It's, it's comfortable. And so when I'm paddling and I'm, you know, it's not going to be affecting me. And that's going to be great because that's the one thing I hated when I was paddling is when I was trying to put my paddle down, I was hitting that constantly and I was chafing. So, <clears throat> and it was just, it was getting in the way of my stroke. So um, I'm hoping that this is going to work really good. So if you're interested, it's called She Fit. And um, I'll leave the link below. So, yeah. So anyways, as I was saying before, I am whip crazy right now. So I have finished that blanket. I've started another blanket. I've got the other. Oh, sorry, guys. I've got a friend that's texting me. <clears throat> I've got the blue blanket uh, where I was using the um, peacock tail. Uh, I haven't I haven't done anything with that yet because I wanted to get the other thing done. I finished my sweater. I finished my hats, and then I started doing another last night. I st oh, good lord, I'm really sorry, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I started doing another. Um, triangle shawl like that big fluffy one in the the what is this stuff this is that banat velvet so it's all this is my big mess because <laughs> i've had to frog this a few times too so so i started making this last night then i got really tired and uh, i just went to bed then i woke up this morning and found that Crystal from Bag of Day has just done a cardigan. I just about leaped out of my chair. That cardigan is beautiful. Of course, it's my colors, but I mean, that helped. <laughs> but it's, it's a beautiful cardigan. And the nice thing about the one that she's done is you can wrap it kind of around. It's just like a hug. And the pockets are awesome. Like, I love that idea of the dual pocket. So I'm going to start on that. I'm going to put that whip aside <laughs> and I'm going to start on the cardigan. I am so excited about it though, because I just, I don't like the fact that it's um, got all the pieces and you have to sew them all together. I hate doing that, but I really like the, uh, the cardigan. So I'm going to just buck up and do it. Um, so yeah, I just don't know what color to do it in yet. I don't, mm, I don't know. I have to go through all my yarns and figure it out. But I may, maybe I should wait a bit because I'm going to start on that room. No, I can't wait. I have to start it. <laughs> so, so there's that. And I've got so many other whips here that I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know. They're just like the start of something and then I've stopped and gone on to something else. So like I'm looking at a couple right now that I have no idea what the heck I was doing. You know, like I've got, oh, that's the fiber spider one. Oof. <clears throat> that's the fiber spider one that I was doing with the ox blood, the ripple or whatever shawl with all the bobble stitches. I haven't even touched that. And I've been wanting to work with the ox blood so much and I just, I put it aside and, oh, and then this one, I th think was a pocket shawl. I mean, it's got the length for the pocket shawl, but Again, I don't know. It's been a while since I even touched it. So 
I've got that, and then I've got I've got a few other things, Ugh. and I'm just I don't even know. Oh, oh, and then there's this that I started, and I believe this is a pocket shawl too. Oh, maybe not. What the heck was this? Oh, this must have been a sweater or something I started on. Hmm. I think that one's going to get frogged. <clears throat> so, yeah. So I've got a few whips that I'm just, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> and I've got yarn here that's, oh, it's a catastrophe. I'll be so glad when that room is finished and then I can actually breathe. But anyways, guys, um, that's pretty much all I guess I had to show you, um, I guess. Uh, yeah, I've just been sitting and watching videos and crocheting and feeling like I'm, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to get all depressed. <laughs> and yeah. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I will let you know my progress on this other stuff. And yeah, okay. I love you guys so much. Thanks for stopping by. I will talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.